My name is Kiki, I work at Ritual Coffee Roasters and there I am head barista and brew bar manager. Today is the 12th of November 2022 and I'm going to be competing in the Barista League in Manchester. I'm competing with Josh from Outpost Coffee Roasters. We've been good friends for a while on Instagram and uh, bumped into each other at a few coffee festivals. So it'd be really fun to compete with somebody uh, that I know and that I've been friends with for a while. I've done a little bit of sort of practicing and preparing for this competition. Um, I've practiced steaming my milk alternatives, practiced my sort of latte art a bit more, um, and I've been brewing lots of espressos and I have even delved into a little bit of mocktail making, only lightly, um, but just sort of experimenting with a few different recipes, which I hadn't done um, until I knew I was gonna enter this competition. So that was a really fun, fun thing to sort of learn a little bit about. In terms of competition, I think Heidi uh, is a very talented lady, uh, very skilled in coffee and what she does. Uh, so she'll be uh, a great sort of competitor. And I haven't met a lot of the other people, so there might be a few other people that are uh, also very, very talented and will be a good bit of fun competition. I think competitions like this are a great way for baristas to progress their skills. However long you've been in the industry, um, I think entering something like this, you can really sort of learn a few things. Uh, I mean, today we've got a, a mocktail challenge and I haven't made a mocktail really. Uh, like, so I think that's something really cool and fun to learn and things that I might also want to learn and, and utilize in the future um, and delve into more. So I think these are a great way for baristas to sort of progress their skills in the industry. Being a barista, um, I've been one for about eight years um, and it's extremely rewarding. It, there are challenges as with any sort of career I think and any, any sort of path that you take. There's always going to be challenges, it's going to be hard days where sometimes you don't feel like you want to get up and make coffee. Um, but by the end of the day there's always that positive feeling that you've brought some value to somebody and like you've made someone's day a bit more positive. So even if it's someone coming in buying a coffee um, and you know you just have a friendly chat with them hopefully you've put a smile on their face and you've made their day and even in terms of advising people on what coffee beans to buy um, and talking home brewing people can really get a lot of value out of it and I think that's really rewarding for me personally uh, there's going to be hard times there's going to be busy times and those busy times are also really fun because they really test your skills as well uh, in delivering consistent quality drinks under pressure and I think that's something that will be uh, really, that, that I'll take out of tonight as well, is um, how, how well can you make drinks under pressure? And that's, that's the main thing I think of being a barista and giving value to your customers. <laughs> <laughs> 